All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. It's me, Addy, again, and I hope you guys are doing all right. So it pretty much came to my attention that two days ago there was PAX East and they showed off a bunch of gameplay of Final Fantasy 16 over there. And if you know me, Final Fantasy 16 is one of my most anticipated games of 2023. Recently, I posted a reaction video about two to three weeks ago to the hands-on preview gameplay of Final Fantasy 16. And that really did blow me away and convinced me that Final Fantasy 16 is very likely going to be something very special. Beyond the ninth Final Fantasy and really that late 90s era of the games, None of the mainline titles really caught my eye and grabbed me in any way, so to me it feels really good to finally have a Final Fantasy game that I'm really looking forward to. And as a result, anytime there's new gameplay, anytime there's a new trailer or anything like that, I'm immediately on top of it, but this time around it went right under my radar since I was so caught up in the hype for Resident Evil 4 Remake and was so busy getting through that game, so I completely missed this PAX demo for Final Fantasy 16. So yeah, the other day on stage during PAX East, uh, the mastermind behind Final Fantasy 14, Yoshi P, talked for about an hour in great detail about everything we can expect in Final Fantasy 16. So I figured we'd react to a bit of the gameplay that was shown off during that demo, and because it's 1.30 in the morning, uh, I'm probably gonna pass on watching the full hour of that video right now but I, what i am going to be doing is reacting to around 26 to 27 minutes of gameplay that was shown off at that demo which has been nicely compiled by uh ruben 925 here uh, so i'm really excited to check out all this brand new gameplay for final fantasy 16 and uh later on i probably won't make a video on this for youtube let me know if you want to see that um i will be reacting to the full hour long uh packs a demo for the game uh, by yoshi p but for now i think a nice compromise would be to check only the gameplay out around 27 minutes of it because it's 1.30 in the morning and I don't want this to go on for way too long. And uh, yeah, I have this up on YouTube for you guys. So I'm really excited to check this out with you all today. Let's go. I only stand here today because of Joshua. All right, so there's Clive. 13 years I've waited for this chant. And I was said. Filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. Man, I'm so hyped for this game. The story and gameplay from what little we saw during the uh, hands-on preview looked amazing. I love the music too. They're so confident with the direction they're going. Like, look at this. This looks so cool. New environments and everything. I remember the preview looked amazing, but it was a little too dark because they were showing off things. My lady. Ready. Yeah, they were showing off things during the dark in that demo, but now I'm really hoping we get to see a lot more daytime environments during this trailer. Or this uh, gameplay footage, rather. Right, and you can turn into summons. Everyone is like a different summon dominance, and they can all fight with each other. And it's all inspired by wrestling matches, I remember. Oh my goodness, like the inspiration behind this game and all the creative decisions they're making had me so amped, man. Such a beautiful looking game. And this year has been top tier, by the way, so far when it comes to games. I recently finished RE4 Remake. That was a blast. Uh, Hi-Fi Rush as well. And then Dead Space Remake. Back to back. Just such good games. And I mean, holy, I can't wait to hopefully add this to that list of incredible, incredible games that I've played this year. And like I always say, 2023 is shaping up to be an amazing year for games. I love this. Okay, here we go. All right, nice. Daytime. Nice little rocky canyon environment. Ooh. Oh, hey, I see like two chocobos down there. Look at these environments, man. Yes, we're riding chocobos. That's a white one. Got a yellow one too, the standard. Oh my God, nice. Got these grasslands, all these canyons, right? Wow. So many different uh, environments and locations. And there's the, the wolf. I think his name was Torgo, right? Ooh, it's my favorite kind of environment right here. Nice crystal clear water in this little valley. It's such a nice looking high fantasy setting so far. You can explore ruins and shit. It's one of my favorite parts of playing open world games. It's been a long time since I've really sunk my teeth into an open world title, you know? So... I can't wait to do that with a franchise I love, but I haven't been into in terms of the mainline titles for so long, right? An open world game in that franchise. There's Young Clive. Nice, more dungeons. An open world game in the Final Fantasy franchise that I'm actually excited for, you guys. Holy crap. 
like I said, man, seven through nine and then tactics and the spinoffs to seven, like Crisis Core and stuff, are really the only Final Fantasy titles I've ever really been into. But the the, the ones that came after in, all, in the 3D sphere never really appealed to me much. And I understand that they're very beloved games and maybe I have to give them another shot, but here's the shot I'm going to take, man. Like, look at this. So colorful and also gray and dull, but to capture the grittiness of this medieval high fantasy setting, right? And I'm liking the music a lot and there's some more combat, right? I'm in love with this uh, pure action direction they're taking the combat, right? This hack and slash direction, a la Devil May Cry. I played DMC5 and thoroughly liked it. And I know that the, one of the combat directors behind that is working on this. And it just looks so good. Yeah, I'm really excited to see the rest of the PAX uh, coverage of this game by Yoshi P on stage. To get more insight into the development of this game and all that. Again, let me know if you want to see a video on that. So I'm so on board with this and I just need more. So sick. Looks like it's going to be so addicting to like mash buttons and attack things and use all your classic Final Fantasy spells. All right, here we go. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. So, oh, that's so cool. There's like a form in between going in between going from Cuban Clive to Ifrit Clive. Wait, 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 Controller. I just want to show. Look, Okay, so here's Yoshi P playing it on stage. That's cute. This is not a video. I saw a little bit of this. But I haven't seen the rest from here on out. He seems like such a wholesome dude. Sorry, yeah, I mean, it made Clive look bad in that, but you know. I, had to show you I haven't real. I haven't played 14, but I know he did a lot of good work with his team for that game. So, the people who love that game are excited for this game. I'm excited so again, too. We do have these uh, very open, spacious areas. Um, this one happens to be uh, again about two kilometers by two kilometers in size. Oh my god! <laughs> 60 <laughs> FPS. Finally, it looks really right, nice uh, and fluid. Over this way. Oh my god, and I can't get over the doggo companion, Torgo. It's on Twitter, you can pet him too. Holy man, just the scale of everything and the character models. Um, again, we mentioned before um, that the game is high fantasy, but everywhere in the world yep. you're going to see these type of old relics from an ancient civilization which we call the Fallen. Sounds uh, like Final Fantasy, all right. Up until about 1500 years ago. So I'm assuming the ancient uh, race had all this futuristic technology ahead of its time before everything kind of went to shit in medieval. And of course, um, in these uh, large fields, it's not just places for battle, but you also have towns um, and encampments as well. Oh, that music, though. That's so cool. <laughs> it's a proper open world game, man. Like, you, you go to a new area, you see the name of the place at the bottom left. <laughs> Wow, there's so much Dynamic going on. And you can see them with, like, I love the chocobos, man, so much. Just, like, chilling out in the open world. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, we can't go any further. It's about 145 more yards to the next part, and we, it will, we can't show you that, so we're going to stop here. I appreciate it, Yoshi. No spoilers. Thank you. <laughs> Just give me a little bit, but not too much. Ooh, that's a nice-looking map. So, um, you can see the Final water Fantasy actually 15, dynamically um, flowing. We have this world map, and these are the areas. That, uh, that is you a can really explore. nice looking world map. Sorry, guys, I'm so excited for this. The story, you'll be unlocking more and more areas that you can visit. で、基本的には物語、ストーリーを進めるためには新しく
And again, of course, players can choose to, again, follow the main scenario along when you unlock new areas, or you can go back to the areas that you previously visited um, to have battles or search for items. Nice, uh, nice, nice. Backtracking, open world exploration. I like it. All right, and now we're going to show you um, what it's like to actually travel to an area and how much loading time there is. <laughs> oh my god, let's go. Next go. gen load times. Or current gen, rather. Two, Two three, three, four. Oh. Right. Less than All five right, seconds. <laughs> the future is now, baby. I love video games so much. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, we, it's just short enough that we don't have to put a now loading symbol on the screen. Hell yeah, man. It's gonna be so great. <laughs> okay, don't overhype. Calm down, Addy. Right, so next up, I want to show you a different type of area, an area that has a little the bit more animations of, uh, too when you open RPG the elements in Final Fantasy 16. The so we're gonna have to the menu. switch our save data. <sighs> oh, we forgot something. <laughs> Okay. Right, of course. Frame rate or graphics. graphics mode performance versus quality mode. Right. Okay, um, so as you can see here, um, we have two different game performance modes. UI is one clean, by the way. One that focuses on graphics and 4K graphics, and one that is focuses more on frame rate. Um, because our stream today is in 2K, we've decided to do uh, the frame rate performance mode. Makes sense. I'm going to be frame rate, of course. I, I will take frame rate over visuals any day, any day of the week. But as you can see here, um, this can be changed at any time during gameplay. You can go from back and forth between frame rate and graphics at any time you want. Um, so uh, match it up with your playstyle. If you're more into the action in that frame rate, choose that frame rate mode. If you just want the beautiful experience, feel free to go with the graphics. Makes sense. All right, so let's load. <laughs> Whoa, that's so cute. Uh, Holy shit. <laughs> the save load screen has like little pixel avatars, like old school Final Fantasy of the characters. Even Torgal too. Okay, that's so cute, man. Dude, this game is so in touch with its roots. I love it. Very quick. Yes. Oh, man. It's like every Final Fantasy fan's wet dream. It's like they, they're bringing everything together. The music is so good. All right, so next up we have an area that's called the Hideaway, um, and this is an area that's run um, by Sid, someone that Clive's meets nice. along his yeah, journey. Nice. Yeah, Sid's a cool dude from all we've seen. You can become Rama. How sick is that? He's a Rama this is dominant. Kind of like a hub or a safe area where Clive can return in between his adventures. Oh shit, that's but, sick. It's like his hideout. It's a filing shrine. <laughs> so inside the hideaway, Clive will find different facilities, such as this shop um, run by Lady Karen. Neat. The UI again, it's so clean, man. I like how it's very minimalistic almost. Accessories? It's not overwhelming. As well as uh, the items like potions, the consumables. Like my third favorite game ever, Death Stranding. Lovely, lovely, amazing, beautiful game. But it's UI. It's some laughable shit. It's like visual diarrhea. And here we have the Hideaway's uh, master blacksmith, uh, Blackthorn. <laughs> he looks nice. He's like a very kind, insane person. Here, uh, Clive can bring the materials that he's gathered on his journey so clean. to craft new uh, gear or upgrade his existing gear. Like, I already get how this all works just by watching the trailer, or, I'm sorry, the demo. I love the holster for his sword too on his back, man. Those are, uh, side quests, I knew it. Uh, that nice. Start from the Clean. Course, there are also side quests that will uh, start in other locations as well, but most of them start from here. In the, in Clean the UI. Nice cloak. I want <laughs> one. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, and next up we have um, this item that's called the Arete Stone. Uh-huh. Huh. Arete Stone. What is all this? 
So within this virtual uh, kind of world, we have a supplementary con special supplementary content such as battle training. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, so say, what's it up? So you can train. That's sick. We also have what's called an arcade mode, where players um, can compete for high scores and uh, compare their scores with players from around the world on the leaderboard. Neat. Okay, cool. So there's like a little bit of online uh, functionality. And compete against other players with trials and stuff. So any of the stages on the players the that played and completed, they can go back and replay them at any time. Wait, question, question, question? What? What's that? No. Question. Question. <laughs> Cute. Secret. Secret. Okay. Okay. They're taking questions and stuff from people. I like it. <laughs> I guess someone asked a question. He's like, nope, spoilers. <laughs> what a legend. So again, um, this is that safe zone where Clive can go at any time in his journey. And so when you need a break um, for the main story, the hideaway is where the fun is. So that's cool. So there's no true point of no return. You can always go back and... Yes. Uh, go through uh, areas or large change, zones change. that yeah, are inaccessible uh, no, at that point in the no, story no, to like do no, them no. again. It's like memories or something in this place. That's cool. Save number two. Three, <laughs> Still can't three, get over yes, this three. load screen. Oh, you're yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the way Targo's like barking and how they're like all jumping up and down when you so like highlight that load three. slot. <laughs> okay, so Go Goetz is one of the main characters. I need to watch the, the full coverage, man, because I know that there's a little section where they go over the characters. Okay, so we're going to go to a different section of the area that we uh, did the walkthrough before. Okay, so this is the, so Clive looks the like a badass man. And we see at those bottom Love the character three, designs. Spots for accessories. We have nothing equipped in the accessory slots. It's like a disheveled drifter type knight. Okay, so by pressing the L2 button, that cool. cycles through um, the three icons that you have channeled. Right. Right, they're okay, called so icons and summons, to I forgot. Through a battle. This is all manual. We have none of the helpful accessories equipped. All right, here we go. Battle out in the open world. Storm Panther. So you press R1 to evade. Nice. Him there. Little, like, you can, can do. And then you have uh, Jill and Torgal are fighting automatically. Our name's pronounced Jill. That's cool. That was a good. That was a good judge. And that was a bad one. <laughs> Dodge. Oh, there's that combat music. We've heard it before. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I feel like the music's gonna be indelible in this game, man. Like from what little I've heard of the track so far and the main theme and everything. Oh boy. You're pretty good. Thank <laughs> You're pretty good. <laughs> dude, I, I really like this dude, Yoshi P. He seems really cool, man. Again, I haven't followed him too much prior to FF16. So I never played 14, like I said. Um, when you get their will down to zero, they will be staggered and fall like this, and for free for all on the down enemy. Wow. Oh boy, man. There's so much you can do in the combat. It's such a cool system, right? You can imbue yourself with the powers of the different icons. And those influence the abilities you use, and then enemies are going to be weak to certain elements, and each icon is tied to a different element, yeah, obviously. Hey, Diffie. It's pretty sick. <laughs> <laughs> how, how much practice? Wow, and these draw distances are crazy. Four times? <laughs> Alright, and again, that was with none of the helpful uh, timely accessories equipped. And so, um, again, I'm not as good as this as a lot of players are, um, and, but that's what it's like at the base difficulty. Cool. Again, we can understand that even that be, can be very overwhelming for players that aren't used to action type of games. And uh -huh. so now we want to equip the timely accessories. Interesting. So you can auto potion with that one. Action. Ah. 
いうふうに作ってます。So again, with Final Fantasy 16, we don't have the traditional difficulty system where you choose like easy mode or normal、like、mode、that. or hard mode. I like that.、Um, I like that a lot. The difficulty is the same, and we change the difficulty.、Nice. Each player can customize their own difficulty by equipping or unequipping these time. Yeah, that's so interesting. Basically, match their own skill level. So the rings allow you to kind of like make the, make gameplay easier, essentially in different ways. So it's more accessible、uh, for different players. Strikes, that's which, so interesting,、uh, man. The attacks. えー、さっきの僕のマニュアル操作とクライブがどれぐらい動き変わるか見ててください。Oh. So to uh, to um, manual, attacks. This condenses it all down into、uh, the square button only. And we want to,、oh. you to see how that differs.、えー、もう一つが、えー、ーオートスローリング。You can condense the complex combos into one button? えー、こちらはですね、攻撃、クライブを相手から攻撃を受けそうになると、えー、その数フレーム前からゲーム全体がスローになるので、えー、ゆっくり回避を、えー、しっかり自分でその手で選択することができるようになります。So you, you, huh. when something is about to attack Clive, or there's an incoming attack, right. right before it hits Clive, the game will slow down and Clive will be prompt、uh, to press R1 to evade out of the way. So it basically slows、cool. down the action to allow for、uh, easier evasion.、えー、では、さっきの相手より強そうな。So they're rings that give you big buffs, but also fundamentally find, change gameplay.、Uh, before we was a storm path, but、so、now it's finding the stronger、ways. curl. Really interesting concept. I like that. I actually kind of like that, man. I'm always for games that don't have a diffi difficulty level. And it's the same for everyone. Like Soulsborne games, right? From software games. Think that. Right. So, yeah, now this is with a ring on. <laughs> Enemy looks so cool, by the way. Okay, once again, man. Final Fantasy oh, never, oh, it, it never ceases、good. to disappoint.、Yes. Just pressing R1. Regardless of what game you're playing, it never ceases to disappoint when it comes to like character and enemy designs, I don't think. I don't think it's ever missed a beat. And then, like this as well, when there's、uh, multiple attacks in a row, each one will stop. And now, next we're going to show the、ah. auto attack. And now, he's only pressing square and he's able to do these combinations. That's cool. <laughs> You can play one handed. <laughs> That's actually really funny. It's <laughs> like, but can, but can you do this? <laughs> It's like that old PewDiePie meme, but with a dual sense in Final Fantasy XVI. The ring of timely strikes condense、uh, the action down into something so simple that you can play with one hand. もちろんだからこのオートスローだけをつけてアクションはね自分でやるっていうのも楽しみ方の一つなんじゃないかなと思ってます。Again, another option again because these can be combined in any way you want. For example, if this is too easy, maybe only equip the ring of timely focus that helps you with evasion, but then decide to do all of the、right. uh, action manual. はい、倒せましたね。So like build your own burger, like build your own difficulty, <laughs> essentially. Here are the little like rings, right? Keep stacking the rings. オートスローリングをつけてるので攻撃を受ける直前にスローになりますがまあその回避自体をもう全部オートにしてしまうっていうアクセサリーも用意しているのでプレイヤーの皆さん一人一人がどんなスタイルでこのゲームを遊びたいかえそこをぜひチョイスしながらえ自分でえ楽しめる楽しみ方っていうのを見つけられるようになってます。Two that we've shown you already. There are many more、uh, of the timely、uh, accessories. There's even one, for example,、um, if you know, slowing down time is still too much for some players, we have an accessory that will completely automate evasion so you don't even have to press anything and you'll、uh, dodge out of the way automatically. So、oh. it's all about finding、um, what's difficult for you, what's easy for you, and finding a combination that works. まあ、ね、Lots of freedom, it seems like, in this game. I like that, man. It's like taking accessibility to the next level and actually letting it permeate the gameplay. You know, all these accessibility options. That's so cute. I just noticed he has like a plush torgo on his lap while he's playing. <laughs> That's amazing.
On the other hand, if Makes there's sense. those players out there that know I'm great at action games, I want to you know challenge myself. Yeah. Take off all the accessories and play it on its hardest mode. Oh my god, um, dude! We also have challenge uh, runners are gonna have content, like a field um, day with this game. Well. They are going example, to literally go ham on this. Before, where you, um, if you wear these accessories, you're gonna get a lower score, so you're gonna take those off um, and you know play the game in the sense where you can, uh, where it's just you and get those high scores and get on the top of the leaderboard. Yeah, so shit. 世界中でですね、ファイナルファンタジー16使ってストリーミングしようと思ってくださっている方もいると思います、えー、ストリーマーの皆さんにですね、この今画面の左上にクライブが今どんなサポートアクセサリーにつけているか一目で表示されるようになってますですのでいちいち視聴者の皆さんにどういう装備で戦っているか紹介しなくても、えー、一目でわかるようになってます And again, um, you know, we know that with these timely accessories, um, one thing that might happen is that you have, you're going to have streamers that are going to want to be streaming how good they are and then be like, wait, I knew it, dude. Good. I love Yoshi you know, P, man. It's exactly what I said. <laughs> well, for streamers, we have... Um, He screen, knows what people are thinking. The top left hand, it will show you um, which of the accessories that you're equipping at that time. So again, streamers won't be able to cheat. <laughs> oh my God. Go That's good. You guys can see that. Audience, my face cam's you know, covering oh, it. Oh, I have this one off or have it on. Wait, 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 let, let, me, let me show you guys because my face cam's covering it. Sorry. Um, you'll always be able to know. You'll, right you'll know left. like yeah. what handicaps people, not handicaps, the buffs people so have on so, 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 to modify the game off. in the form of rings. Um, at the guess, top left. Yeah, I think we're done showing battle, but that's actually great. Like he he foresaw our, people you know, like streamers is, wanting to do all these challenge runs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. and so he was like, you know what? So that they can prove to that like their tor, audience uh, that they're doing them. The we're just gonna like make sure that you can oh, actually uh, see the rings and like or not see the rings in this case. So you know they have no buffs on. Oh, Wait, there's a pet oh, dog button. Wait, we got we gotta go back. What just happened? Oh, Q, he's going to pet Torgal. Oh. <laughs> Yo, that's actually fucking hilarious. No, no. Don't hurt the doggo. <laughs> Can you kill the Torgal? No. Yeah, hopefully he answered that as no. Pet. Oh. Good. 50, not a 10 game. <laughs> This is it. Game of the year right here. Move aside, RE4 remake. You could save the dog in that one, but she couldn't pet it. ごめんごめん単純にボタン間違ってたスポイラーズマイバッドいやまあオッケーはいえというわけでですねトルガオルもぜひたくさん可愛がってあげてくださいそうですいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやい
on the same wavelength as players, right? It's such a small thing, right? But when he said that he knew that streamers are going to be playing this game and doing challenge runs, that it was important for them to make sure that on the top left of the screen when they play through the game, their viewers and their audience, right, would uh, know that they're not actually secretly using any rings or anything like that to make it easier because you wouldn't see them at the top left of the screen where you normally would, right? So little things like that just gave me the impression that he and his team are really, really on the same wavelength as players and are in sync with them and know exactly what they want and are trying to create like the best possible product that they can and the best possible experience that they can with a lot of polish, love and care. Those are the impressions that I'm getting. And um, yeah, man, I just hope and I'm really confident that this game lives up to all of that and these crazy um, ever increasing expectations I have for it, you know? Um, so yeah, hell yeah, that was amazing, you guys. I'm really glad we checked that out. And again, if you want me to check out the full hour long showcase where Yoshi P goes into much more detail on what we can expect in Final Fantasy 16, definitely let me know. I'd be happy to make a reaction video on that. Um, otherwise, I'm definitely going to just check that out on my own because I can't wait to see more stuff here. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. And uh, let me know what, what you guys thought. Are you excited for FF16? What did you think of all this gameplay? I want to know what you guys think. So uh, let me know in the comments below. But uh, until the next one, stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, And as always, keep on keeping on. <laughs> Can't wait for FF16, dude.